This is part two of Rainforest. The understory. The understory is lit with a greenish glow and the air is still, hot and humid. Lazy big cats slump on branches. Brightly colored birds whir around flowers and extraordinary lizards search for insect lunches. King of the Amazon. The jaguar is the biggest cat in the Amazon jungle. It loves meat and will eat almost any living thing. Jaguars like to prowl the riverbanks and hook fish with their paws. They also tackle sleeping alligators. No animal is brave enough to take on a jaguar. Yes. And what? The jaguar eats people. The jaguar could eat a person, I guess. Jaguars are good climbers and sleep on branches. Jaguar yeah. nights. The Aztecs were an ancient people who lived near the Amazon rainforest. They were fierce people and were always fighting their neighbors. They admired the hunting skills of the jaguar and gave the name Jaguar Knights to the best and most fearless soldiers in their armies. Colorful chameleons. Not only do these unusual lizards have colorful markings, but they, also, they can also change color. Chameleons darken to merge into their background and hide or flash a different color to scare away enemies. Chameleons can look in every direction by rolling their eyes. A cool frog. Tree frogs need lots of water, just like pond frogs. During the day, when it is hot, they hide in damp, leafy hollows to save water. By night, they catch insects with long, quick-acting tongues. The sticky pads on this white-lipped tree frog's toes help it grip onto wet leaves and stems. Snake S's? Snakes. <laughs> Small creatures <laughs> like lizards and frogs <laughs> share the understory with some dangerous neighbors. Snakes, such as this golden tree boa, lie in wait for passing prey. Flying jewels. Hummingbirds are tiny. The smallest kind is the size of a bumblebee. They hover next to flowers, feeding on a sweet liquid inside called nectar. They lick the nectar up with long tongues that reach to the end of their spiked beaks. The hummingbird's wings beat up to 80 times per second. The beating of its wings sounds like someone humming a tune. Please stop. In the golden and eight. Going batty. Love them or hate them. Bats are common in the rainforest. Bats wake up at night when the birds go home to roost and take over their eating grounds. Give me a pat. This bat, which looks like a dog, eats fruit like a dog. It has, like a dog, it has an excellent sense of smell for sniffing out the juiciest fruits. It spits out seeds or passes them out in its droppings. This helps the spread of fruit trees. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. Bats' wings are made of a sheet of thin skin stretched between very long fingers. What? Bats and flowers. This long-nosed bat loves sweet nectar, which, is, which it licks from inside flowers with its long tongue. Its wings are hairless and as thin as paper. It wraps them around its furry body when it goes to sleep like a blanket. Aww. During daytime, bats hang upside down in the caves or trees, sleeping and grooming themselves. They don't mind crowds, although sometimes squabbles do break out. Up, what? up, and away. A colony of bats wakes up at dusk. They all take off together with a great flapping of noiseless wings and set off to find food. Vampire bats. Va oh, this nasty little critter creeps up on sleeping animals and sneak sinks in its fangs. The animal can't feel the bite because the bat has special spit that, num that numbs pain. The bat then laps up blood from the wound. They drink an egg cupful of blood each night. Does it hurt the animal? Mm, I'm no. not sure. 
I mean, they normally. I mean, if it happened a lot, it probably would hurt them because they'd be depleted of blood. Batty mm -hmm. sizes. The biggest bat in the world is the Malaysian flying fox. It can have a wingspan as wide as a car, five feet. The smallest bat is the bumblebee bat. It is only one inch long and weighs half an ounce, about the size of your big toe. <laughs> That's insane. Camouflage. In the jungle, you could be surrounded by animals and not know it. Suddenly a leaf scurries away on a, or a tree trunk changes shape and you realize you're being watched. Woody words. Camouflage. A disguise that makes an animal seem to merge into the background. Imitation. When animals, when animals don't look like animals at all but resemble something their enemies would overlook or never think of eating. Spot the bug? Can yep. you see the insect in this picture? Yes. An insect hunter is sure to overlook this false leaf caddy did. As it crawls across a tree stump, it even has a hole in its head to make it look like a caterpillar has nibbled on it. That is so neat. Is God, that its head? That's its head. It even has a hole in its head so that they think a bug's eaten on the leaf. <laughs> that is so cool. God, that is insane. That's all really its neat. bottom. Bugs, it's back. huh? It's back. All right, what's next? Um, Looks thorn, like thorn bugs. A bird would think twice before gobbling up one of these thorny insects. That's if it knew they were insects in the first place. Thorny bugs. Mm. Oh, wow. Hiding in the shadows. An unsuspecting wild pig could be standing right next to this jaguar and not notice it. The spotted markings on its coat look like the sun shining on shady leaves. Freeze! An iguana freezes on a tree trunk and, as if by magic, almost totally disappears. It's superb camouflage bends its shape into the tree trunk. Mm. It is only when the iguana moves that it can be seen again. Asian leaf frog. A, for a forest floor frog does an amazing impression of a dead leaf. Its pointed snout and hooded eyes add to the leaf leafy effect. The frog keeps very still and waits for prey to pass. Lying low, forest floor animals wind their way between trees across a carpet of dead leaves. The gloom hums with the buzz of insects and bushes rustle as hidden predators choose their moment to pounce. Armored armadillos, giant armadillos the size of sheep. What? Yeah, they can be bigger sometimes. Use powerful claws to dig into insects and worms. Scaly armor protects their backs from big cats as they dig. Forest facts. Spiders are not insects. They, are, they have eight legs, making them arachnids. Armadillos have a hundred teeth, but they hardly use them. Gorillas like to take it easy. They sleep for 13 hours every night and also rest for several hours during the day. That's a lot of sleeping. Gorilla picnic. <laughs> Gorillas live in family groups and work together to protect their territory and young. They sit on the forest floor eating leaves and grunting to each other. They huff and puff, hiccup, and even burp. Nothing wasted. Fungi. Ooh, that's pretty. Fungi grows easily on the dank, dark forest floor. The air is heavy with the smell of decay as it feeds on rotting leaves. This stink horn is one of millions of fungi that eventually break down dead matter. Hairy hunters. It is that. It is oh, that. a tarantula. It's interesting. A curly-haired tarantula, as big as a man's fist, emerges from its silk-lined burrow after dark. It creeps up on its prey and paralyzes it with a venomous bite. The spider then sucks out the contents of its victim's body. Insect armies. The jungle is alive with insects as they busily go about their daily tasks. Many live in communities that are similar to armies. Wasp architects. 
Paper wasps chew up wood to make strong, light paper. They use the paper to build a cluster of cells for the queen wasps' grubs to live in. Workers collect insects and pieces of caterpillars for the grubs to eat. Leaf cutter ants can strip a bush of all its leaves in one night. Oh. Tiny farmers, leaf cutter ants carry leaf fragments back to their underground nests. They ch the chewed leaves make ideal compost for growing fungi, the ants' food. Insect army ranks queen, the only one that lays eggs. The whole insect army serves the queen. Soldier, a defender of the colony who will fight to protect the nest from attack. Worker, a manual laborer, builder, farmer, or hunter. Ant camp. I know, that's the paper wasp nest. Army ants make a camp by locking themselves together with their legs and jaws. <laughs> what? Army ants make a camp by locking themselves together with their legs and jaws. This solid mass of live ants has its queen and her eggs at the center. When the ants have stripped the local area of food, the camp moves on. Wow. All That's worker crazy. leaf cutter ants are female. A few special males and females leave the nest to make new colonies. On the rampage, at dawn, worker army ants and some soldier guards set off to hunt. Forming a long column they, that snakes across the forest floor, they attack and kill anything that gets in their way. What Even do? large animals. A soldier ant in defensive position. Whoo, that was scary. Blood-sucking mosquitoes lurk in all areas of the jungle. Only females bite, though. Termite builders. As builders, termites are second only to people. They use strong clay to build this amazing yeah. umbrella-shaped home. Termites rarely leave their nest, and since yeah. they have everything... They need inside. That is crazy. It is very neat. Hunting. In the rainforest, venturing out to find food is a dangerous job. It's nothing like a trip to the supermarket. You have to be careful and lucky. There are traps and ambushes laid everywhere. Caught in a web. There are millions of spiders in the rainforest, some as big as your hand. Orb weaver spiders catch their prey in impressive webs like this. Good catch. A praying mantis has launched itself toward a passing fly and caught it with its front legs. The fly had no idea it was so close to danger. Praying mantises are masters of camouflage. S for speed. This poisonous white-lipped tree viper. Mm, they said poisonous, guys. Instead of venomous. Hmm. This poisonous white-lipped tree viper holds the top of its long, slithery body in an S-shape so it can strike out quickly. Poised to strike, eyes alert, this fearsome viper lies in wait for passing prey. Hunting for food. Watch out that you're not someone else's dinner. Popeye. This western... Tarsier looks surprised to have caught such a large moth, but it's thanks to its big eyes that it can see in the dark. Many animals hunt under the cover of night. Frog's legs. A forest floor snake catches a fat frog. Poison in the snake's fangs. Poison in the snake's fangs? Venom. Venom, Venom in the snake's fangs kills the frog. Then the snake swallows the frog whole. The snake's mouth and skin stretch to fit the whole frog into its long belly. The mantis is weighed down by its fat bottom half so it will not overbalance. Its front feet have spikes to help it hold onto prey. Hmm. I didn't know that. Interesting. I knew that. Riverbanks. Jungle riverbanks are alive with wildlife. Gentle plant eaters browse the thick vegetation. Graceful birds show off their fishing skills. And giant snakes lie in wait for passing crocodiles. Timid 
tapir. A tapir sticks its head out to survey the river scene. Easily startled, this timid vegetarian Vegetarian is an excellent swimmer and can stay underwater for many minutes if it needs to hide from a hungry jaguar. Look at this. What is it? It's a tamper. Tamper. I know about those. A tamper's nose is stuck to its upper lip, what? making a useful trunk for tearing leaves off branches. So it's using it like a finger, I guess. Like River trivia. No, I can't read it. Capybaras are the Cap biggest Capibaras. rodents in the world. They are the Capibaras. same size as pigs. Capybaras. That's probably what that. Yeah, that's yep. probably what that is. Female anacondas are five times longer than the males. They can grow up to or over twenty-six feet. Capybaras are also nicknamed from wildcats. They said that capybaras are also nicknamed. The fluffy pig. Okay. That's Walking on is. water. This basilisk lizard uh -uh, can escape enemies in a surprising way. Its back feet have long toes with flaps of skin between them so it can skid across the surface of water. Bird ballet. These elegant great white egrets patiently stalk the river, snapping up frogs and insects as well as fish. At dusk, they return to their nests in the trees to roost. Giant guinea pigs. Close, relative, close relations of guinea pigs, capybaras are good swimmers. Thanks to their partially webbed feet, this makes them clumsy and slow on land. However, like ducks, they live in groups of 10 to 100. Cap the bearers eat bankside vegetation. Crocodile for dinner, please. Anacondas, the biggest snakes in the world, can be twice as long as street lamps. One of the few predators of adult crocodiles. An anaconda will squeeze a crocodile to death, then eat it whole. A crocodile meal will satisfy this big snake for about one month. Some watery world. Another entirely different group of creatures lives in the jungle waterways. Many of these are gentle and harmless. Others should be avoided. Floating gardens. In some places, jungle rivers are slow moving, shallow and swampy. These areas are a paradise for plants. Water hyacinths, to your right, grow quickly forming tangled rafts on the surface. Shooting fish. Our archer fish are very skilled at spitting. They are capable of scoring a direct hit five feet above the surface. Yep. The, weird. The spurt of water knocks an insect into the water where the archer fish gobbles it up. Stop, please. It's basically like a These, gun of water. Mm -hmm. These black patches look like shadows from above so the fish can easily hide. Amazon manatee. This slow moving mammal browses through water plants along the mighty Amazon River. It is a sociable creature and usually lives in small group. Manatees are often called by their nickname sea cows. Yep. River trivia. Archer fish have finely adapted eyes and can see better than murky through murky water, murky swamp water, than clear water. Crocodiles eat about once a week. Not all piranhas are dangerous. Only four out of 18 species will attack a human. <laughs> Death roll. A floating log seems to come to life when a caiman lunges at its prey. The struggling beast is held in the croc's jaws and turned around and around until it drowns. Crocodile teeth can only grip and rip. Crocs can't chew or munch. They spin in the water to tear off bite-sized chunks. Small but deadly. A school of red piranha fish can tear a large animal to pieces in minutes. They can get into such a feeding frenzy that they take bites out of each other. Trailing feathery roots absorb nutrients from the water.
Mm -hmm. Each piranha can only take a small amount of flesh in one bite. They are only successful feeders in large groups. Jaws. Although this black piranha fish is strictly vegetarian, it is armed with rows of razor sharp teeth. Piranha jaws have sometimes been used by people as scissors. This is a young speckled caiman. Caimans are a type of crocodile. World record holders. Red piranhas hold the world record for being the most ferocious fish. In 1981, it was reported that piranhas attacked and ate more than 300 people when an overloaded boat sank at Obidos, Brazil. This kind of attack is not common, however. That's concerning. What is? The piranhas ate 300 people. Night life. For many jungle creatures, the sun going down is an alarm clock to get up. Animals that wake up at night are called nocturnal and have special features for survival in the dark. Owls are nocturnal. Mm -hmm. Hide and seek. A jaguarindi has large eyes which help it to see in the dark. These small cats are hard to find in the rainforest. They are excellent climbers and spend and speed around the branches. Jaguarindis hunt small birds, mice, and lizards that live in the trees. Toad in the hole. For these toads, life is safer underground or in the dark. They spend the day in a forest floor burrow and come out at night to eat insects. Fly fishing. Fishing bats don't need to see well since they have amazing hearing. They can hear the size and shape of fish in the river. Just by sensing the ripples on the surface, they hook fish out with their claws, then kill the prey with their teeth. That's echolocation. Oh, owl butterfly. The spot on this butterfly's wing fools noc nocturnal insect hunters in the dark. They think it is a beady owl's eye. Many small animals prefer to avoid owls rather than the wing of a juicy butterfly. Butterflies have four life stages. Egg, caterpillar, pupa, then butterfly. This leaf could have pupa been eaten by an owl, butterfly, caterpillar. Big cat, prowl. This Indian tiger is a nocturnal hunter of forest deer and bush pigs. Its long whiskers help it feel its way around and it can see in the dark five times better than a human being. Owl butterflies are as big as dinner plates with wingspans up to eight inches. Wow. A tiger's roar can be heard one and a half miles away. That's very noisy indeed. Don't pick a fight with a tiger. They have the strength of 10 men. Wow. Fishing bats eat while flying or hanging upside down. <laughs> Exploring the jungle. The jungle gives up its secrets slowly. After 200 years of study, we still have a lot to discover. We may yet find a cure for cancer from a plant without a name in a distant forest. In harmony, people have lived in the rainforest for thousands of years. They know many of its secrets and can teach us their unique skills and knowledge of the wildlife. The yam can help people with arthritis. This hard fruit treats some skin diseases. Moraton Bay chestnut seeds brought hope to people with HIV. The seeds in this Oaban pod can help treat heart problems. Rose periwinkle plants can help treat cancer. Huge pharmacies. Some ingredients and medicines come from jungle plants. The more we explore the rainforests, the more likely it, it is we will find plants that can cure serious diseases. Wanted, daredevil scientist. A brave scientist risks life and limb to explore the top of the tropical rainforest tree. These areas could be home to undiscovered species of plant and animal life. Collecting bugs. A scientist and student collect and analyze insects. 
Scientists believe that we have found less than half of the different types of creepy crawly living in tropical rainforests. Protecting animals. Some rainforest animals are endangered, which means there are not very many left in the world. These animals need extra help to survive. Orangutans are endangered. As a result, orangutans sanctuaries have been set up in jungle areas where they can live undisturbed. Early explorers. When early European explorers came back from their trips into the Amazon rainforest, they said they had seen men with one long, one leg, I gotta find myself, who could run like the wild wind. Bat people who lived in holes and beings that were half man, half fish. People outside the forest didn't know what to believe. Who am I? Take a look at these close-ups of animals in the book and see if you can identify them. The clues should help you. It's easy. This is an ant colony. Help the soldier ant rush through the nest and protect the queen from attack. Answer the clues correctly to find the right path each time. Wait, wait, Mom, I know what you want to All right, all right, all right, but we're not doing it on video. Okay. I'm looking. Is it true or false? All right. That's finally the end of Rainforest. Bye. Thank you.